Afropolitan Comics is part of the National Art Festival's virtual program, currently running online. It gathers over 16 artists from across the African continent and offers a multimedia experience. People don't um, really give the, the industry enough time. In fact, many of the comics creators that I've spoken to um, in South Africa, at least, have said, you know, that we don't have a comics industry. We have kind of like a comic scene, you know, um, and everyone kind of still has day jobs and um, for the most part. Um, but there's really such a wealth of talent here. And I think that the more people know about it, um, the more people you know, we'll support it as well. We've got some really fantastic creators from Zimbabwe, um, Cameroon, Senegal, Algeria. Um, and I think that, you know, this was such an exciting opportunity to, to showcase talent from around the continent. The target audience for comics is like ages, what, like four to like 400, <laughs> you know? Um, it, and I think that this exhibition really showcases that and kind of breaks them down into two, into three um, sort of rough um, chapters, we're calling them. So that is um, loosely centered around history, autobiography, which is obviously a lot of our kind of personal history and personal storytelling, which is such an important function of comics. And I think especially in Africa, you know, where we more and more are realizing, you know, we need to be telling our own stories. Um, and then finally, um, you know, looking at the great history of um, storytelling that we have on this continent. Um, and then again, you know, looking at speculative history, um, folklore, mythology, um, how, how do we keep these stories alive, you know, by using a new medium? Um, and then also looking into the future as well. But if you're into a more physical experience of running your fingers through your favorite comic books, then why not visit the Comic Warehouse? Comic books are a multi-billion dollar industry with millions of comic books sold on a yearly basis and on the rise, particularly in South Africa. We head to the Comic Warehouse, Joburg's biggest comic book store, to find out why. We're American pop culture based, we're British pop culture based. We needed a space that we could combine all the elements um, and bring people to life, bring the characters to life. That's why we chose to do things on such a, such a big scale. The pop culture industry is growing at an alarming rate. We just have to have a look at the last event that we had at Comic-Con. There were up to 72,000 people that attended that event. Um, that was only year two, and it's growing. It's absolutely growing. We see it in our business, uh, we see it all around. Uh, we're, we're very confident about uh, pop culture as a, as a way forward into the future. The movie business is, is just, uh, it's, it's phenomenal. Every time they launch a new, uh, every time they launch a new character in a, in a new screening, uh, the, the, the world goes crazy. Um, it's here to stay. Just from an African perspective, um, Africans understand brick and mortar. Um, although yeah, the e-commerce space is growing uh, in, a, in a big way, I think it comes down to availability of goods and, uh, and location. We feel, I think going forward, it'll be a balance of the two. Um, we can't ignore anybody. We've got to make our products and, uh, and our comics available to everybody. It's an escape from, uh, from our day-to-day -day realities. Um, as you know, the world's in flux at the moment. Um, you just have to have a look at everything from, uh, from, uh, from Donald Trump to, to Russia, and then we have our own uh, African story. Uh, it's, a, it's a great escape within the week, within the day, and uh, there are uh, kids that need to be educated and they need to be learning and reading, and, and that's, why, uh, that's why these kind of businesses do well. South Africans are very, very switched on. Uh, we have access to all the information that we need. Uh, we just need availability of, of, of resource and product, and that's what Comic Warehouse is here to do. Hi, I'm Lois Mkize, and you're watching Joburg Today.